Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Andres Rodriguez Villa and Gustavo Kanevsk. This game was played in Mar del Plata, Argentina in 2007. Andres Rodriguez Villa had white pieces and he started with f4, the bird opening. Gustavo played b6. Interesting start, isn't it? e4, bishop to b7, knight to c3, e6, knight to f3, c5, d3, d6, white move. Bishop to e2 is the most played move. Andres Rodriguez Villa played g4, wow, what a wild move, h5, g5, g6, Preventing f5, bishop to h3, knight to e7, and villa castled kingside. Knight from b to c6, queen to e1, queen to d7. Now villa played a cool move, knight to d5, bishop to g7. If pawn takes knight, then white plays the obvious move. So we have bishop to g7, knight to f6, check, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, knight to g8, f5, g takes on f5, e takes on f5, e5. Bishop to g5, black to move. Gustavo castled queenside and he laughed out loud on the inside. White is committed to the attack on the king's side and he castled queen side. Smart move. The game continued. Queen to d2, rook to e8, knight to h4, king to b8, c3, black to move. d5 was played not the best move, though perhaps queen to d8 was the best d5 was played, rook from a to e1, king to a8, d4 would be a better move. We have king to a8, bishop to g2, queen to d6. Player with black pieces thought that he was doing well. But Villa, in this position, found a crazy move. That brought him an advantage. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Villa found an incredible move. Knight to g6, attacking the rook. After thinking long and hard, Gustavo played rook to h7. If f takes on g6, f takes on g6, and then, after knight takes on f6, bishop takes knight. Rook on h to g8, g7, and white is better. So we have rook to h7. Believing that knight has no business there, perhaps knight should go back. But this is another critical position with white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? When you look at that pawn on e5, you can see that the pawn is defended by three pieces and attacked by only two pieces. So the knight takes pawn on e5 should not work. Or maybe it should. Villa played, knight takes on e5. Knight takes knight, and now d4, pinning the knight. c takes on d4, c takes on d4, knight to f3, check, rook takes on f3, rook to c8, rook to c3, rook to f8, rook from c to e3, perhaps intending rook to e8, check. Rook to d8, rook to e8, 
black to move. Rook to h8 was played. If rook takes rook, rook takes rook check, bishop to c8, queen to c3, and black can resign. And what else? If bishop to c6, queen to f4, after queen to d7, rook takes rook check, queen takes on d8, rook to c1, and white is winning. Back to our game. Rook to h8 was played. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Villa played. Another brilliant move. Queen to b4. What a move. Did you see this? Black to move. Queen to d7 was played. If queen takes on b4, rook takes rook check. Bishop to c8. Bishop takes on d5 check. King to b8. Bishop to f4 check. Queen to d6 is the only move. Bishop takes queen checkmate. Back to our game. Queen to d7 was played. White played a move and black resigned. What would you do? Villa played. Queen to f8. If you found queen to a4, congratulations, this is winning too. If queen takes queen, rook takes rook check, bishop to c8, bishop takes on d5 check, king to b8, bishop to f4 checkmate. In the game, Villa played queen to f8 and Gustavo played with black pieces resigned. In view of this continuation, knight takes on f6, rook takes rook check, queen takes rook, queen takes queen check, rook takes queen, bishop takes knight on f6, the dust has settled, and white is a piece up. What do you think of this very wild game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.